<laughs> so look, here I am at the Karen Arthur's house. Oh, we're going upstairs. Yeah, we're going upstairs, we're going upstairs to meet her wardrobe. Here we are. Going Turner. through. Wow. Turner. Amazing. Subtle. Subtle. <laughs> I just want to take a look at close up of this amazing t-shirt. I wish I'd worn my own wreck shit t-shirt. Absolutely. Printed. Bonnet. Yeah, bonnet. Um, anyway, bonnet. so um, here's one of two. Two. And then, <laughs> so basically when my, when I became single, <laughs> carefree and single, um, I basically took over the place. So I've got two wardrobes in here and two wardrobes in there. I've managed to fill All with my lovely clothes that I love and I don't want to... Part get rid of because I wear them yeah. on the whole. Well, if you wear them, yeah, that's okay. I wear them. So, and they all mean something. Yeah. and they all have memories, well, and yeah. So that's why I've kept them. Well, clothes are emotional, aren't they? That's Absolutely. that's what I'm getting from every mm. one I've been talking mm. to. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Well, let's have so, a look yeah. through here and show mm. me some absolute okay. favourites that you absolute have, favorites. Uh, and well, that you would. You need to know that I wear, I make a lot of my clothes. I know. This, right? I do know you so make a lot of clothes. So as you can probably see, it's quite a bit of colour in here. Yeah, I knew there'd be colour. <laughs> I knew there'd be lots of colour I mean, and lots of prints. That's black, but I haven't worn it for I don't know how long. Favourites. Let's talk. Do about... Do you wear black? I do wear black, but I then I'll put uh, something a really wrap on yeah, yeah, of or course. Jewelry or accessories or bright shoes or uh -huh. whatever so but um the some of these clothes are like um from my supply teaching days which I'm no longer doing it so they're my and in supply teaching these days you have to dress a certain way right um, conform yeah you have to conform let's start which with, is a shame really isn't it to well, some absolutely, degree absolutely absolutely <laughs> well, so that's this is an my, amazing skirt did you make that the, the, I didn't this, this is my aunt, my late aunt Monica's skirt oh, this is the skirt so that it, I it's this is in Michael, yeah. Love yeah. It. It's got the yeah, she bought this in the seventies. Oh, that's my kind of skirt. Oh mate, it's gorgeous. But also she passed Aunt Monica passed away in 2015, which was an amazingly difficult year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the year I left teaching, lots of other things happened as well. So when she passed, suddenly uh, I was the executor to her will and I had to sort everything out. She wasn't so much into fashion, but she liked certain things. And to me, this is this reminds me of her. And this is the skirt I wear a lot. Uh -huh. um, when I'm going anywhere new. It looks like it was made for you. When I honestly, when I'm going anywhere new, and I'm I feel like she'd like to see it, and That's she'd nice. like to um, be with me, yeah. or she'd like to see how I've blossomed. I'm gonna say. Uh -huh. So that's um that's your connection. Yeah, that's my connection and I love look, it's got little whatever that's called, pretend rick rack. Rack. Pretend. It's just gorgeous. Wow. So These are the head wraps. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, Doing that. Look at those. Amazing. I look I yeah. Head that's wraps are just the I think they're amazing. And I think once well, I discovered you do it and they look that amazing. I could play with fabric uh -huh. and I could find a way to put as many patterns and colours on my body as is humanly possible. Um, yeah. And all of these are either, I don't think any of them are actually um, actual head wraps. They're uh -huh. all, I mean. What, so you pick them up, they're bits of material. They're bits of material oh, or they're sarongs. <laughs> don't worry about it. Or they're sarongs. It's fine. Just drop uh, it's just uh, breaking my yes. house, guys. <laughs> That's all. I'll just pick that up. Don't mind us. Yeah, as you were. Um, uh, so there are bits of fabric, um, sarongs. I often use them for so double up tops. Yeah, anything, anything, and anything. Um, may I ask? You may. Where you get most of your fabrics from? So I have them gifted. People know that I love fabric, yeah. so they give it to me when they go travelling. So I have fabric here from Nigeria, from Ghana. I bought some in on my travels as well. Uh, I buy them as remnants in, in shops. Rolls and Rems, Lewisham, big up those yeah. Rolls and Rems. I go to Petticoat Lane uh -huh. and... Uh, 
there's one particular street, Wentworth Street, um, Spitalfields basically, okay, Lane, yeah, yeah. where I will walk. There's about five or six different uh, Ankara African print shops that I go into and kind of see what the best price is. Uh -huh. yeah. So there, yeah, I'm, I'm a big stickler for having 100% cotton. Um, it breathes and it holds the colours very well. Um, where's this from? Mm, I think it's from Sierra Leone. A friend of mine. Because people give me clothes to cut up to make things. And then you I end didn't. up wearing Yeah. <laughs> so this dress, look at it. It's... The hem's oh, wrong. It, you know, it, it... But... And of course, over these babies... Yeah. It works. <laughs> it, it holds them in. But then I kind of pulled it up a bit. And then I put the ivy around my head. And I felt ama I felt ethereal. But you did. And powerful. Yeah. And also, that was my tribute to the, you know, the people who died at Grenfell yeah. and the survivors and their families, etc. You wear quite a lot of orange, don't you? Yes. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> she Look has here. got orange on. Which? Um, orange is my absolute favourite colour. I, I know that my too. pupils dilate when I see orange. It's it to me it means energy, it was mm -hmm. life giving. It's good energy. Yes. Um I'm always banging on about orange and And the and the thing is this so this I'm gonna tell you about this head wrap whether you want me to or not. So this head wrap <laughs> good. was a piece of fabric that I bought I oh, can't remember thirty years ago easily. Wow. It's look, it's patched at the back, oh. <laughs> and it's it's Pretty been patched. to. I bought it so that I could wear it as a sarong. So in the days when I didn't wrap my head at all, so I hemmed it and took it to Barbados on my first visit when I was twenty one. Mm, that is oh fuck, thirty five years ago. Wow. Yeah, you can't believe it, can you, darling? Look at so, that um, face. Doesn't look it. Does <laughs> innocence, it? innocence, innocence, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Um, and I wear it. When I when I I wore it today because I was a little bit nervous, not super nervous, but a little bit nervous. But it's my go-to. It's my go-to. You know, um, it's a little bit faded. Look at it. It's been it's to Zimbabwe though. with me. It goes on every single. So it holds a lot of. Yeah. Oh, so many memories. This yeah. this made me feel good when I was completely outside my comfort zone last year in Zimbabwe. Um, oh yeah, yeah amazing. Did your sewing. Amazing. Love it. Love it. So that's a really amazing print as well. I love that print. Let's have a look at that. So this is my pink jumpsuit Pink and orange, I think, is a really great colour. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. So this is my jumpsuit Oh, wonder. my God. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. And I made this. <gasps> look, still got tacking in it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just love the colour. I bought the great. fabric and I knew full well I wasn't making anything for anybody else but myself. Uh-huh. Um, and it's just a really comfortable jumpsuit, uh, but it's got, you know, wide legs and I can belt it or I can be slouchy in yeah. it. And as I wear trainers most of the time now, um, yeah, it it's goes. really comfortable. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. side pockets and somewhere there's pockets down the side. you might have to get into that later, Karen. My tie, my yes. tie. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Another vintage Aunt Monica skirt. Oh, my, I only took two of her things. And this mm -hmm. is two of her clothing, I should be clear. I don't know who it's by. I think it's another... She loved St Michael, mm -hmm. which is now Marks and Spencer's yeah. for anybody under a certain age watching this. But no, I, I don't think anyone is. <laughs> <laughs> well, they should be. Uh, and it's, it's, it's far too big. Yeah. And I belt it and I, it's cool, I love it. it. Look at that, those pleats. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Is. That, uh, years ago, I used to, when I was teaching, I used to make um, bags out of uh, African print. And on, before Instagram, before Instagram, guys, there was a time before Instagram. Um, Twitter, uh, what happened? Somebody who lives in Helsinki saw my bags and wow. she was having a baby. This is a really long, it's not a long story, but bear with me. <laughs> and then um, she wanted me to make a baby changing bag for her out of African print fabric. And so I made it and I was going to Helsinki and so I gave it to her and we Incredible. met and we're now friends. Isn't that amazing? She sent me this fabric. <gasps> this is, um, 
it's it's yes yeah, it, upholstery fabric like cushions okay. so and it's, it's quite one thick. piece of fabric she sent me this fabric and i was determined to design something that i wouldn't have to cut it up yeah because i wanted the peacock yeah where my JJ is okay <laughs> so i see i get it's got it no seam wow. so it's got a high waist here it that goes down a bit amazing. of the back zip whatever these yeah. are pleats oh i should know that really shouldn't i and a, a slightly curved hem, and I love it, absolutely love it. So back in the day, phase eight was my friend. Really? Phase eight, wow. listen. In terms of my body shape, boobs, smaller waist, hips, okay? Uh -huh. uh, I've got long arms and broad shoulders, but this kind of wrap uh -huh. thing works. works. Yeah. Very easy to wear, can I just say? Yeah. So I would wear these. I'd wear a wear a, a pair of black uh, wide leg trousers and flat pumps, mm -hmm. and I'd be off. I'd be dressed in seconds, literally. Obviously. I'll so this was for myself. teaching. This is for teaching. Yeah. So these are, re and then if I wanted to dress them up, I've gone into styling mode. But if I wanted to dress them up, take the trousers off, tights on, put some pumps on, good to go. Do you see? Yeah, absolutely. And a statement necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I used I wore these to death, and actually they're really comfortable. Got quite well, a bit of lycra. That's Diane von Furstenberg. I, she uh, knew what she was doing. Didn't she she? Was a did, dress. didn't she? She did. So, um, one of my best friends has one of those dresses, and I covet it. She's got a silk DVF. And if she wasn't two sizes smaller than me, I would rip it off. I love uh, DVF. Uh, but she seems to make. Uh, small sizes. Small sizes, right. So when it was my 50th, uh, I, for my birthday, my party, I didn't know whether I was going to make something or whether I was going to, I wanted to spend some money on DVF. I've always wanted something. And I went online and I went to Nessa Porter and I went on her website as well. And their sizes are, and I tried one on actually in Notting Hill, maybe. Um, but they, you know, unless yeah. I want to... Look a little bit obscene. Uh, I Never. <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> so I spent my the money that I'd saved for on a pair of bright pink Jimmy Choo's instead, oh. which I love. Where are they? They are on that side of the Let's room. Let's check out the Sh show. Are these yeah. the pink ones. These are the one. Oh, these yeah. are my 50th birthday oh shoes. I probably gosh. wore them, worn them. I was 50 almost seven years ago now, and I. Well, never know, would you? That was a very good thing to say, thank you. <laughs> and I keep it's a bit Carrie Bradshaw, shoes. isn't it? Look at these. Fuck oh off. my days, <laughs> wow. These are the kind, and do you know, oh, I won't Pink show you that bit, so a bit. I love them. I remember seeing them online. No, I didn't see them online. I looked at pink shoes on, again, Netta Porte. And then I took my daughter, Mahaney, shopping with me. We went to Selfridges. Just when, remember the big shoe... They had a shoe gallery open, uh -huh. so we went there when it first opened. Yeah. And I tried on loads of different shoes and walked up they and down. They obviously screamed. They screamed Alton. Karen Arthur. Come on. I won't put them down too much because they're a bit dirty. God, I couldn't even walk in those, Karen. But they, do you know what? Someone, I read somewhere that someone said that designer shoes are more comfortable. I don't know about that. But these are, in the grand scheme of things... The most comfortable heels I've ever wow. worn. Wow, there you go. That said, I don't wear them that much, but they're not going anywhere because no. I, they have so many good memories for my 50th year. I can't even... Oh, no. Yeah. Great. So, yeah. And they're, it's my first pair. forever shoes, aren't they? Yeah. And I, I don't... I mean, I, I said to you before, I don't wear heels that much anymore. I'm, I'm a slave to super, Adidas Superstars and Uptown Yardy. Oh, um, yeah shoes so yeah these are very special i love that tartan dress hanging up there oh that's my way of happy dress that's my yeah you wore that yeah i it's a pattern actually i didn't make the pattern it's a vogue pattern oh, but you made the dress i made the dress and that material uh, and I, I love that tartan so print. a couple of friends good friends of mine were getting married in scotland uh, oh. two years ago now wow 18 months ago uh mitch and graham and i wanted it's so funny i wanted to make something that was a nod to scotland uh -huh. but 
and represented my Caribbean heritage. Yeah. So this is Madras cotton, it's not tartan. Okay. So um, I, I spoke to a friend of mine, Talika, who runs the Costume Institute for African Diaspora, uh, which is about costume and textiles within the African diaspora. And she happened, I tried to look for Madras cotton online, couldn't find any, and she said, I've got some. Wow. So, I, I don't know if you know anything about Madras cotton, but basically, um, the uh, slave owners who went to different parts of the Caribbean um, wanted something that reminded them of home, but because it was so hot, tartan wasn't having it. So these were actually, Gosh. this was, Madras is actually from India, uh -huh. um, and then um, it was taken, they also had it in the Caribbean as well. Someone is who's watching this is screaming at my inaccuracies, but basically that's what it's from. Um, and so I don't know, I think each Caribbean country has their own cotton, so you will see uh, the Carib people in the Caribbean, women in the Caribbean particularly wearing um, what like checked fabric and that kind of thing. That's what it comes back, okay. goes back to, it, it has that. But so I wanted my African heritage but also my Caribbean heritage in Scotland. I loved wearing it, it's got little details like the kick pleat, which wasn't oh, part of the pattern. Yeah. Um, and I love 50s clothing, yeah. like just that cinch it waist really suits and you. the three You've got the, quarter, yeah. you know, so you can get on with stuff and not have to roll your sleeves up, <laughs> that's, that's my argument, yeah. anyway, and when I turn, when I spin it, uh, mm. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, got a romantic feel. it's a childhood memory, that whole, um, there used to be a dressing nut box at school, when I was, when I first went to primary school, and if you finished your work, first you could get first dibs in the dressing up box and so in the you were there box, I, I was on it mate <laughs> literally I was like, ah. and i was the only black girl in my class and they probably thought i was like Why, what is she doing you know i stood out anyway uh so and they so i finished my work and then i would the teacher would say oh yes you can go to the dressing up box and there was this uh gray possibly checked so i don't remember what i remember about it was the feel of the fabric and the fact that it made it rustled so if you spun around oh, it's yes. spinning around and sat yeah. down really quickly it, it binnowed out uh, like gone with the wind uh, and i that memory is so vivid so i love um cinched in weights and skirts that you can spin around yes, and yes, sit yes. down somewhere on the internet there's a video of me spinning around and going Wee! when you're my a child big, no okay actually when i'm <laughs> my big <laughs> recognize that <laughs> so i was wearing this when i first met you dominique darling dominique <laughs> at london fashion week at london fashion week oh my god oh my god. we were the oldest people there no <laughs> just about <laughs> oh my god so this is a what is it it's upcycled let's start with this so i want <laughs> i want no it isn't i was i wanted to go to london fashion week i knew i was going on my own i was trying to find my business self mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah and i was taught i was working with a coach at the time and i was told i needed to ask people questions so i thought okay how am i gonna i want to stand out but also i want to have an outfit that people want to talk to me about there was a lot going on there uh, because I don't know if any networking is hard and talking to strangers is really hard and as gregarious and outgoing as I look, I get very, very nervous and I don't like to disturb people. So, That's quite a common thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm realising it more people and more. Have. Yeah, people go, Oh, really? You yeah. yes me. So I've I've always been fascinated with upcycling anyway. So that is that a coffee, um so That's a coffee set. That's basically. Okay. I've always been fascinated with that. Yeah. And um, I love, how funny, my daughter's going to Costa Rica in September. Anyway, and I love the mixture of the African mm -hmm. print and the um, coffee sack. Just work, I just like it. So this was fabric I bought on my first trip to Africa. I went to the Gambia and I went to um, a place where they sold batik, sh small batches of different batik that this wonderful woman was making. So. I bought this shirt in a second-hand shop in Forest Hill. And then, you bought the shirt. You hadn't. You didn't make the shirt. No, I bought. No, I bought oh, this. Okay. Okay. It's just and then, a man's shirt. 
So you've added the sleeves. Right, so yes. then I cut okay. it up. Uh -huh. Amazing. I cut it up. I added the woo, yeah. woo sleeves. Oh, this is a great fashion, but actually, it's great for shoplifting. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we don't condone any of that. We don't do condone we, criminal activities <laughs> at all. Um, and then the sleeves, so I cut the sleeves off, and the, these are the sleeves. Look. Oh, wow. So that's the cuff. You see? I love that little bit. Oh. And then added a little bit of piping, and I. I Oh, she's Always so clever. Line them because yeah. this stuff is it's a rough bit scratchy, and isn't it? Yeah. Chafes is the word <laughs> we're looking for. And yeah, I put this on, and the minute I took took my coat off, and walked, I walked in, put my coat away, and it had the desired effect. It was actually quite, it was brilliant. But how many people did I speak to? I must have spoken to four people, and the lovely Dominique kind of look we caught each other's eyes i think there was a kindred kind of what the fuck are we doing <laughs> do you know what i mean I do. amongst all these flibberty gibbets and very 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 darling darling people and um i asked she let me ask her questions and the rest is history isn't it dominic it is charleston so look we're in the stage <laughs> i love that though imagine so i had to have a sash because you know these things are important well, for your yeah. 50th birthday. Mate, best one ever. Wow. Let's pretend that's a thing. And then... It's a bit Vivian West with that, isn't it? <gasps> mm -hmm. Subtle. And then... This. A little cape. Cape. Oh, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I Story dear. of my life. Looking for my glasses. You get the general idea. Let's but have a look no. then. Okay. I think <laughs> I think the socks might be a bit much, but it might be, look okay with them um, ankle socks. Yeah. Are made. Look at that. Oh, I fucking love this. Sorry, I love this. Amazing. Isn't it? Gosh. So my friend. So uh, you you didn't make those. No no no. Yeah. My friend Katty Jano made this one and this one. And she taught me how to make this one, which is just bonkers. Look at it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love making this. Uh, she is now um, a wonderful business coach. And wow. Think, and this one as well. Oh, that's like really old fashioned, yeah. isn't it? That I one? love it. Traditional. And I made, this is the first one I made. Just sits on your head. Obviously, really it's really 50s, a hat. isn't it? Yeah, I loved. But I didn't finish it, I was supposed to put a bit of elastic so it can actually stay yeah. on. I have worn it at some point. I quite like making it. I, I do like um, the netting situation. Uh -huh. I do like that. Yeah. And I, what I love about these, I have to say, is I wear these in the day. I mean, I don't... I wear them on special occasions, but I also wear them... Well, that's just good, isn't go, it? You know, because I like the idea... Yeah. I, I can't bear that whole... Save it for mess, save it for mess. Yeah, When's yeah, best? Absolutely. What if I get exactly. knocked over by a bus? Exactly. You know, yeah. um, best every day, you're, every day you're given another day, or mm -hmm. whatever it is, is best, isn't it? Absolutely. Wear clothes that you love, yeah. where you're happy, you know. Where you're happy. Thing. Let's do it. Right, so this is uh, my quick fire round, Karen. This is Karen Arthur, if you didn't know. Just so, um, in case you haven't worked yeah. it out, <laughs> guys. Okay, yeah, so. Have you paying attention? <laughs> I hope you have. <laughs> I think they have. Um, <laughs> yoga or Pilates? Oh, fuck. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> yoga. Yoga. Okay. 50s or 60s? 50s. Okay. Vintage or homemade? <clears throat> homemade. I don't like that word. Homemade. Sorry. That's all right. It's, uh, it reminds me of... Um, it used to be a diss at school. Like, you no, know, if you wore something that was uncrashable, someone would say, oh, I like your coat, did you make it? Is it homemade? I think it has different connotations now. Absolutely. So, homemade oh, all the way. Um, night in or night out? <laughs> night in, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know me? Night in. Oh, Forest Hill or Peckham? Forest Hill. Um, virgin mojito or mojito? Mojito. But... With my age, I should be having more virgin meat, because alcohol, the hot flushes, man, they go berserk, 
So yeah, should I be fluffing this out or should you? Should I just say one word? No, that's sorry fine. about that. You carry on. I don't mind. But I prefer it's a mojito because they're great and rum is life. Okay. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we'll say goodbye. Thanks, Karen. Oh my absolute pleasure. It's been oh, my absolute pleasure. I knew it would be colourful this one. I knew it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What do you think fashion is frivolous? No, oh God, no, 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 no. I think that um, people, there are lots of people who have fashion, but don't understand how to, um, how to use it. As we get older, we find it harder. It's, it's horrible shopping. So fashion is about, um, certainly going through your wardrobe is about being heard about um, talking about your favourite garments, about those memories, it's self-care, it's sustainability because it's feeling about, good. It's about feel, it's lots of things, and anybody, you know, fashion. This is the struggle that I've had around fashion, and this is why I'm where. This is why I found it. Where you're happy, founded. That sounds really up itself. But I know what I mean. This is why I use. I think about where you're happy. It's about using fashion to help you. Um, feel positive and to lift your mood and I think that we underestimate how powerful this shit is.